Hey, I'm Mechanical Engineer, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the best TV shows to watch if you like to build stuff. I've always enjoyed watching engineering type TV shows where they build and create new and cool things, but finding good TV shows like that is not very easy. They're often few and very far between. So I thought I'd go ahead and compile a list of some of my favorites so maybe you guys can discover some new shows you wouldn't have otherwise known about. Now don't get me wrong, I'm sure there are going to be a few TV shows on this list that you've already seen and probably already love. However, the vast majority of them I do believe have been largely overlooked. But enough talk, let's get started with the list. Number 1 First up, we have Prototype This. Prototype This is a TV show that aired on Discovery back in 2008. It's about four friends with varying engineering backgrounds who come together to bring some of their crazy ideas into fruition, hence the name Prototype This. A few examples of some of the crazy things they built would be a hydraulic truck that can lift up high enough to drive over other cars in gridlock or even double park on top of other vehicles if there's no other parking spaces. It's pretty awesome. They've also built giant boxing robots very similar to the ones in Real Steel and an infinite water slide ring which due to a tilting back and forth and projecting a video in front of you makes you feel like you're going on quite the water slide adventure even though you're just going in a constant circle. Honestly, it's pretty awesome. And that's just a few of the crazy things they've done. I honestly enjoyed each one of these episodes and really the only negative thing I have to say about it is that it only went for one season which really left me wanting more. Why must the good die young? Number 2 Next up we have How and How Tech, which ran for two seasons from 2010 to 2011, of course airing on the Discovery Channel. This show is about two twin brothers who specialize in making combat robotic off-road vehicles. It is crazy. When the show aired, and I believe still to this day, they held the record for the smallest tank ever made. It was a one-person tank that was, of course, bulletproof and was small enough to drive through your front door and up your stairs. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. They then also made a huge robotic SWAT team bulletproof shield thing they gave to the police. That's pretty crazy. And this all-terrain vehicle they call the Riptide, which can race through the ocean or drive through gravel or sand or whatever it takes to chase you down and kill you and everyone you've ever known. It's quite horrifying but amazing at the same time. Every episode is so much fun to watch because between the awesome builds and then the two twin brothers and their whole team of people they have working for them, it just gets crazy and it's a total blast. Honestly, if you like combat robots, crazy off-road machines, or anything in between, this is a series for you. It's amazing. Number 3 Rocket City Rednecks. Rocket City Rednecks is another series that aired on the National Geographic Channel surprise and ran for two seasons starting in 2011 and ending in 2013. Just like the other series we have already talked about, Rocket City Rednecks spend their time building and experimenting with very unique concepts and ideas. Like for instance in one of the episodes they built a rocket powered off beer. That was pretty cool. But something that sets these guys apart from the rest is that they're hillbillies. But at the same time, they all have multiple PhDs, and actually we have two generations of NASA scientists on the show. Plot twist. I enjoy the show not so much for the builds. I mean, don't get me wrong, the builds are awesome, but I really like hearing the banter between the characters and just watching how they go about doing things. That's what really makes this show special to me. It kind of at times reminds me of a more sophisticated red-green show, if you know what I mean. All things being considered, though, I did enjoy this series, and I think it's worth your time to check it out. Number 4 American Genius. This is definitely one of, if not the, favorite TV series I have on this list, and that's really saying something. Unlike the other more, I don't know, live action shows on this list, American Genius takes more of a documentary approach. Each episode takes a very famous inventor or engineer and really expands their backstories, showing you what kind of rivalry they had against their competition and what they had to overcome to become who they came. 
that didn't sound right. One episode was exploring the background and relationship between Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison and the ACDC wars. Another one they were exploring Colt versus Wesson. Or my personal favorite, the one about Philo Farnsworth versus the RCA guy. I've always loved Philo Farnsworth and it just kind of made me sad. This series aired back in 2015, of course on National Geographic Channel, and sadly only ran for one season. Why must the good die young? But to me, these are like those timeless episodes that you can just watch over and over on loop because they are so well written, so well filmed, and very engaging. Absolutely love them. Number 5 Mythbusters. Now, I'm not going to insult you guys and pretend like you don't know what this is. You know what this is. I know what this is. We grew up on this. But then again, it just didn't feel right to make a list about the greatest DIY shows ever without mentioning the legend that is Mythbusters. Number 6 Battle Bots. Again, I'm not going to insult you guys. You already know all about this show. We were watching it back when it was on Comedy Central. There's nothing new I can tell you about it. It's an amazing show. I love it. You love it. Everyone loves it. If you don't love it, you're probably part reptilian or something and need to go to the doctor. There are other TV shows similar to Battle Bots like Robot Wars and King of Bots and although they can be entertaining to watch, you just can't beat Battle Bots. The amount of destruction in that show is unparalleled. Number 7 Now for this next and final TV series, I have actually never seen a single episode of it and that's because it has not even been released yet. It should debut about the day after this video comes out. And that TV show is... Savage Builds. Continuing on the success of Mythbusters, and I'm assuming the tested YouTube channel, Adam Savage is back on Discovery, building new daring and crazy inventions, or so I assume, I've only ever seen the trailer. Judging by the promotional work I've seen on this, and the fact that it's Adam stinking Savage, I expect this to be the coolest TV show ever, and the best thing since Bite Force. Really excited for this, so let's all come together as a community and watch every single one of his new episodes so that we can get more than just one or two series which seems to be a common fate for the DIY genre but again it's Adam Savage he's gonna be fine and so there you guys have it some of my favorite and I believe the best ever TV shows to be made and have blessed the television set with their presence but what do you guys think did I leave one out did I put one in that didn't belong let me know below but hey, thank you so much for you guys watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And Lord willing, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And please feel free to subscribe.